Counter-Strike 2 has been finally released from beta. The main difference from the beta version is that the game seems to be working just fine on earlier builds of Windows, whilst the beta seems to be only working on Windows 10 and 11, build 21H2 or 22H2, the release version seems to be working fine on older Windows 10 and 11 builds, and some users reported that it runs just fine on Windows 7. However, it still requires processors supporting SSE instructions version 4.1 and 4.2, and most of the errors that the beta version experienced seem to have been transferred to the release version as well. One of those errors appears when you try to launch matchmaking. So the game launches just fine, you can play Counter-Strike 2 with bots all day long, however, whenever you try to join a matchmaking match, Valve Anti-Cheat does not allow you to do so, telling you that some of your game files have been detected to have no signatures or invalid signatures. So you cannot join matchmaking servers, and it advises you to verify local game files. The fixes for this error will be exactly the same as I showed in the previous videos on the same error, but for the Counter-Strike 2 beta. And actually, you may not even need to do anything, but still play matchmaking games. The only difference is, you have to be invited to someone else's matchmaking match. If you don't start the matchmaking yourself, but rather rely on someone inviting you to join a team, this error seems to not appear. However, if you want to fix this, there are several steps you need to do. The first one is to make sure that you run the game from inside Steam by clicking the play button. You must not run the game from a shortcut that is, for example, on your Windows desktop that leads directly to the Counter-Strike 2 exe executable, but you have to run it from inside Steam. The next thing is actually the last thing, but I'll start with it. So inside Counter-Strike 2 folder, there is a file which is called Foreign Signatures. You can open it with any text editor, for example, the Notepad application, and here you can see the names and the control sums of files that Steam Entity doesn't like. First, I was under impression that this file is specific to your PC and is generated by the Valve Entity itself, but now I have come to conclusion that this file is the same for everyone and it's being downloaded with the game. Anyway, some of the files mentioned in this file relate to NVIDIA drivers, while the rest of the files relate to Microsoft Defender Antivirus, which is built into Windows. Let's deal with the NVIDIA part first. These files relate to something which is called NVIDIA Ansel. NVIDIA Ansel allows you to make beautiful screenshots in-game, and this feature is probably being abused by some cheaters, that's why the Valve Anti-Cheat doesn't like it. There are two ways to disable it. The first one is called NVIDIA Cleanstall. It's a third-party utility that allows you to declutter and remove the parts of NVIDIA drivers that you don't need before installing them. On some NVIDIA video cards, in this NV Cleanstall program, you can untick Ansel and it will not be installed. However, on 3000 series, for example, this tick is not present, so this utility will not help you to disable Ansel. Another third-party utility that can help you is called NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which should not be confused with just NVIDIA Inspector. It should be NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Open this utility and in the fifth block of the settings, you can see an option which is called Ansel Enabled and by default it is on on all video cards. This is from NVIDIA 3070, this is from NVIDIA 750, a very old card, but it is still enabled. Change this Ansel enabled setting from on to off, apply the changes, and you should be able to start matchmaking in Counter-Strike 2 without errors. But what if you don't have this option? What if you have an AMD GPU instead of an NVIDIA GPU, and what are we supposed to do with other files which relate to Windows Defender? And please also note that none of the files that Valve Anti-Cheat doesn't like have anything to do with the game itself. They are parts of NVIDIA drivers and parts of your Windows installation. That's why verifying game files or even completely re-downloading Counter-Strike 2 or even reinstalling Windows, reinstalling Steam and reinstalling Counter-Strike 2 will not help. So if you are on an AMD video card, you must exit 
AMD control panel, which may be called Radeon Catalyst, Radeon Adrenaline or something like that. The reason are probably overlays that this utility can display in-game. Also, even if you're on AMD video card, you may try running NVIDIA Profile Inspector and disable Ansel. However, the most important thing, and this is the first solution that you must do, is to make sure that Counter-Strike 2 doesn't have Run as Admin enabled in the compatibility settings. You may have enabled it following online tutorials trying to troubleshoot this issue. Once again, in a normally running Windows, nothing has to be run with admin privileges. That's why I remove this run as administrator tick from the Counter-Strike 2 executable properties. Don't forget to apply the changes. Make sure that you are not running Steam as administrator. Also run Counter-Strike 2 from inside Steam by clicking play in the library. And if you follow all of this, the error will be gone and you will be able to play matchmaking without any errors. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.